the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Jesus, our loving Master, thank you for revealing to us the self-emptying love of the Father. Your humility comforts us and challenges our pride and egoism. By washing our feet through the Holy Eucharist, you heal and restore our weakened dignity because of sin and empower us to become more committed servants of your kingdom. Jesus, our resurrection, have mercy on us. Jesus, reigning in glory, have mercy on us. Jesus, coming in glory, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lord and Savior, have mercy on us. Jesus, our hope, have mercy on us. Jesus, our peace, have mercy on us. Jesus, judge of all, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lord of creation, have mercy on us. Mary, Mother of the Eucharistic Jesus, pray for us. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that the hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in this world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, Fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again. He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Patuloy po tayo sa ating visita iglesia dito sa aning ikaanim na simbahan dito po sa conversion of St. Paul the Apostle sa lungsod ng Vigan. Dialogo at pagkakaisa ng tao. Ano nga ba ang kababaang loob na ipinakita ng ating Panginoong Jesus? Hindi ito pagmamaliit sa sarili, kundi ang pagtingin sa sarili ayon sa pagtingin ng Diyos sa atin, na ang lahat ng biyaya, talento o kakayahan ay kaloob ng Diyos. 
laging binabalikan ng ating Panginoong Yesus ang Ama bilang may akda ng kanyang misyon. Ang taong mapagkumbaba ay ginagalang ang kapwa kristyano, ang katotohanan mula sa ibang relihiyon, kultura o paniniwala. Walang individual, pangkat o grupo ang may monopulya ng katotohanan. Si Kristo ay matatagpuan sa mga taong may matapat na puso at nagsusumikap gawin ang kalooban ng Diyos ayon sa kanilang alam sa tulong ng mga dikta ng kanilang budhi. Ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay modelo ng kababaang loob. Bilang pagtanggap ng mga Hudyo sa kanilang mga bisita, inuutusan nila ang isang lingkod upang hugasan ng mga paan nila mula sa pagbibiyahe o paglalakad. Sa kaso ng mga apostol, wala silang utusan at si Jesus noong gabing iyon naging lingkod nila. Ang ginawang paglilinis ng paa ng mga alagad ni Jesus ay hindi lamang pangkatawang kalinisan, kundi isang sagradong gawain katulad ng sa binyag at kumpisal kung saan nililinis ang mga kasalanan. Hindi naman hinihingi ni Jesus sa mga alagad na sabihin sa kanya ang lahat ng mga kasalanan nila. Dapat lamang maging bukas ang kalooban ng mga alagad na umayon sa hangad ni Jesus. Sa paghuhugas ni Jesus ng paa ng mga alagad, nabibikis ang kababaang loob at awa, kapwa sa naglilinis at nilininisan. Sa ginawang ito ni Jesus, mas nakilala natin ang puso at kalooban ng Diyos. Ang kababaang loob at paglilingkod na ginawa ni Jesus ay magsilbinawang inspirasyon at hamon sa ating lakat, hindi lamang tuwing mga mahal na araw kundi sa pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay natin. Manalangin tayo. Panginoong Hesus, dakila ka sa iyong ginawang paghuhugas ng paa ng iyong mga apostol. Ang iyong kababaang loob ay naipakita rin ni San Pablo sa kanyang misyon na ipalaganap ang mabuting balita ng kaligtasan hindi lamang sa mga Hudyo, kundi sa lahat ng San Sinuko. Wika ni San Pablo, Ako ang pinakaaba sa mga apostol. Ang lahat ay basura. Makamtan ko lamang si Kristo. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Oh, oh.